Hey Trevor, Mike Barker here at Four Seasons RV in Medicine Hat. Here is that Reflection 278BH. Um, so I know you looked at a bunch of pictures, but here's a good walkthrough video here to give you an idea of what this sucker's got available for you. So starting at the front, you do have the, the turning point hitch. This is great for, uh, allows for easier towing, especially if you have a shorter bed truck. Uh, coming across the front here, you do have your power front jacks as well as your auto leveling system. This feature is actually pretty amazing. It's uh, super cool to actually see it. Oh, I didn't unlock this one. Uh, actually do its thing. But anyway, so you do have front storage there. I do apologize, I forgot to open that one there. In this door here, you do have your propane tanks, which they do, you will have them uh, in there and of course and then of course there are going to be full as well as brand new batteries for this as well moving to the pass-through storage here there's a ton of space going on in here opens up closer on the other side reason for that is you do have your complete docking station right here so you have the, the option to turn your water pump on you have your outside shower tv hookups you can adjust your valves for you know setting up uh uh, winterizing you know sanitizing stuff like that with all your water system there your gray tank flush as or city water flush sorry with your black tank flush and then of course your valves there as well to be able to drain all your uh, all your tanks and just down below that is where you're you're gonna be set up there and then those hoses beside that's actually just your fresh water tank drains as well drains your lines all that good stuff there you see the blue ones hanging down below as well <laughs> um, looking at the outside here you do have your uh, full dinette slide nice full fiberglass solid uh, sidewalls on this here as well but uh, let's move across the back here and take a look at what we have here so ooh, a little slippery <laughs> um, this particular trailer uh, of course everyone comes a little bit different but you know all options are available large storage space in the back here like tons of room i easily could crawl in there you know if you got kids and you know they're being bad you can always <laughs> tuck them off to this side um but uh in all serious you do have a plug in there it is a motion light in there as well which is pretty great your rear hitch so as i mentioned good for 3,000 pounds towing and it's uh 300 pounds tongue weight so that uh definitely will be able to pull your boat with your four pin wiring for your lighting and stuff like that go back up you can see your ladder it's got a fully walkable roof as i mentioned this particular one does have uh, a backup camera uh, some of them may not come with it it all depends right i mean this one here does which is pretty fantastic makes it nice for backing into spots especially if you got your boat on the back you'll be able to see that really well too so that'll be awesome Full power awning across the camping side of the trailer here. Almost goes the full length. Your outside kitchen with your fridge. Lots of space for all the beverages. Little storage compartment there. You do have a plug-in. Again, motion sensor light. And of course, your griddle is right here as well. As you can see by the rear tire here, there is the one of your... Uh, power uh, stabilizer legs as well so as i mentioned you can uh, uh easily just push a button walk away and it's going to do its own thing just right there that's your sewer hose uh, storage spot goes right across to the other side so you can access it on both sides and then uh, moving up to the middle here so this guy this is the more mo ride suspension uh this here is going to allow so that thing will rock back and forth and it allows for a much, much smoother ride. It is extremely durable. Uh, so the longevity of this is, is huge, right? They're gonna outlast uh, most of the older trailers that uh, had just your standard leaf spring hookup and pivot point. But uh, back to the front here. So here's the other side of the pass-through storage. You just saw the motion light come on. You have a plug. Actually has a battery disconnect, which is pretty amazing. And then of course, your water hose, power cord, park adapter, all of that is there as well. But uh, it's a little chilly. Let's go inside here, show you some of the options inside. The layout on this is pretty fantastic. I really like what they have going on here. But uh, now we're on the inside. 
Just give you a quick pan through. So that's the hallway to the master bedroom. Your dinette slide and fridge are, is out. Tons of counter space. But uh, let's start at the bedroom here and work our way back. So I'm going to go up the hallway, show you the, uh, the master bedroom here. So you do have your reading lights there on both sides. You see that green light there? That's your USB ports. So you can plug in all your stuff. You have the small shelf above. So I mean, your cell phone and stuff can sit above your head. It's not going to take up much of your night or any of your nightstand. Plenty of storage on top. A little wardrobe on this side here. Well, on both sides. A little spot to kind of stack your clothes. You do have a full-size wardrobe on this side with your... Uh, pocket door to separate the bedroom from the rest of the trailer in floor heating so just to show you here the wardrobe it is very deep motion lights on pretty well every cubby as you can see you can hang your clothes plenty of room for shirts to hang down and then your full extension drawers so you get the most out of your uh, drawer space here it does have the, I don't know if I can turn it properly, there we go, the roller bearings, slides on each on each drawer. This is going to allow you to have up to 75 pounds of uh, stuff you can put in there. I mean, I don't know anything that weighs 75 pounds that you put in a drawer, but hey, you know what, it can hold it. So moving in the bathroom, pocket door here as well, motion light. I don't know if that came on when I was walking up, but you do... Have your motion light. So getting in, going to the washroom in the middle of the night, you don't have to turn all the lights on. You just have to get up and walk in. Your on-demand water is right here. So here you can actually pick the temperature of your water, Celsius or Fahrenheit, turn on your hot water, all that good stuff just right from down there. Medicine cabinet with your light just above lights it up really nicely you do have some counter space here on the side which is great a lot of the times your bathroom counter gets cut off somewhere around here so that's pretty amazing too you do have your plug-in light switch there more storage more drawers you're gonna find I say that quite a bit so the rest of the trailer here is gonna have your heat ducts in the walls not in the floor so one of the reasons why they do it in the bedroom is uh, one well main reason it's lifted right so they don't have the room to be able to put it in the walls secondly it's the bedroom it's not it doesn't get too dirty in there nothing like that so to have the floor register in there isn't a big deal uh, as for the rest of the trailer the uh, there's no vents on the floor because you're sweeping the floor you get dirt in them you step on them you bend all the registers you know just a, more of a pain than anything so aesthetically it's just nicer but uh, here's the shower as you can see skylight that I just showed you there it uh, you know if you're not vertically challenged like myself um, you're a little bit taller you'll be able to fit in there no problem but uh, coming down the hallway to the stairs to the main area you can see that light on so you do have stair lights as well which is pretty awesome especially if it's a little darker of course and then down into the living room area slash kitchen but in here is your full control panel set up so you can open up your slide, open your awning. You have all your tank levels here, right? Ceiling lights, tank heater, water pump, awning lights, all that good stuff as well. And then uh, more storage. <laughs> lots and lots of space for everything. Your thermostat is right there with your air conditioner as well. Uh, your light, you do have a nice mirror behind the couch here. And then just to back up a little bit there, so you have your plug. More storage across the front. This is really nice. I like the the in, inner glass that they put on the cabinet there. And then your couch. Your couch is a trifold sofa. So standard height of bed. But moving across to the dining area. So you have drawers directly on the sides to be able to access your storage. You're also going to have a spot just underneath. You see that little hole there, so you can access that storage from the top. Um, you do have uh, another plug just down below, which is pretty great. You, this does drop down to be another bed. 
huge window there across the slide and then you have a good size one on the right hand side for uh, uh, just letting a lot of light in right I mean it's, you don't want to live in a cave either your dining room lights moving over to the fridge here so your fridge oh, here we go hasn't been opened yet <laughs> um, really really nice fridge right this thing it's gonna keep everything cold it is a full electric fridge so in comparison to the other one this is the smaller fridge this is the uh, the 10 cubic in or cubic foot fridge where the other one was the 16 um, not sure if that makes a huge difference to, to you I mean for camping and stuff going fishing that's gonna be lots of space for anything that I catch or bring along with me this one here in the kitchen here we have a really nice flip out counter even though there's no lack of counter space in this kitchen at all gives you a little bit more just right beside the sink which is really convenient stainless steel strainer that goes across the sink and again more storage for all your cleaning supplies all your spices canned food stuff like that same within the cupboards here these are nice and deep cabinets too so if you have full-size plates they do actually fit in there quite nicely you do have your third three burner uh, stove and oven there with uh, storage underneath but to show you this it has a tempered glass top allows for more prep space keeps it a little cleaner in your three burner there really awesome feature so your microwave just above is a uh, residential size microwave so just like the one you got at home it is also a range hood so it will suck up any of the steam and stuff when you're cooking hopefully not smoke if you're you know, maybe a better cooker than me <laughs> that's why I have my wife uh, moving across the top here more storage you can see where your microwave is plugged in there as well big TV across the side here so when you are sitting at the couch or the dinette you can definitely look at the TV there as well there's the rest of that huge counter space I'd say that's probably almost five feet long plenty of drawer space every drawer as I mentioned is going to be full electric or full electric <laughs> full extension um, and then of course your uh, your blinds you got your privacy blinds here and then you can put them up right really really nice so this is just a quick breakdown of uh, oh I guess I should check out the bunks <laughs> oh it's early morning so you have a full wardrobe here a couple of drawers a nice step to be able to get up to the wardrobe too for any of the, the young kids that may be back here uh, again in floor heating due to raised floor and that storage that I showed you outside underneath the bunks here double over double bunks plenty of space in here it is the teddy bear soft uh, topper on this it's uh, quite nice and then of course you have your uh, side lights there with uh, your light switch and plug-ins there for any kind of charging needs same thing with on the top here so moving to the top again lots of window space USB charge port right ac vents you do have a vent underneath as or above the bed and then if you wanted to put a tv in here you got tv set up with uh, a spot to be able to hang one really really nice so i'm just going to pan through here again from up top a little higher give you a better view of what this thing has so definitely a beautiful trailer so this is your main area here lots and lots of space to move around no one's going to bump into each other or anything like that uh but uh, this is kind of it trevor i mean there's a little more to it i'm sure i'm missing something your radio and all that stuff your outside speakers is all connected there but uh just a, a better rundown than just pictures let me know what you think and uh i hope you enjoy the video and we'll talk soon thanks